Salawam, all praises, glory, and honor is due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Chakodash. Double honors to the apostles, bishops, elders, and teachers of Great Millstone and, and the like minded men who may not be directly part of Great Millstone, as I'm not, follow the same doctrine. Salutations to the elect Akiam, Akwath, Onyam, Abayaf, Dawada, as the men, women, and sons of the house of David, men, women, and children of the house of David were predestined to be saved in these last days. On Yahweh Shah's return, the true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, meaning He is. He exists. Okay. Um, we say Yahweh Bahasham, meaning in the name. Um, the true name of His only begotten Son is Yahweh Shai, meaning He salvation, He saves, He delivers. And Yahweh Shai will return to at the appointed time, which is shortly to come. To save his elect of the nation of Yasharala, that's the, the nation of Israel, he prints power, okay, Yasharala, um, which consists of um, the tribe of Judah, down to the tribe of um, Issachar, um, the so called blacks, down to the so called uh, so called Negroes, down to the so called Mexicans, you know, Gad Rubin as well, and all the, you know. Various tribes within the twelve, you know, so so-called Negroes, so-called Native Americans, so-called Mexicans, and those that are scattered amongst the nations that may not like other um, nations, but are of the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob. Okay, all right. So Israel will be scattered. So Israel um, will come. Some parts of Yashorala will come looking like other nations, including looking like Edomites, but if their lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, then they will be Israelites, okay? Yeah, let's not get it twisted. It's not a colour thing, it's a heritage thing, it's a bloodline thing, spiritual thing, all right? So today is just going to be a quick hit, you know, just to show you what time we're in. You know, you know Hurricane Burrow in... Um, um, the Caribbean right now, due to hit the Americas, I think, next couple of days, America, well, you know, if it's hitting the Caribbean today, yesterday, and obviously can hit Miami and such Florida and such places shortly after. Um, you've got wars, rumors of wars, you know, these are the um, yeah, things Yahweh I spoke about. Uh, Matthew 24th chapter, um, Luke 21, um, Mark 13 chapter, um, yeah, on his, before his return, you will see the you know, uproars of the people, wars, rumors of wars, famines, pestilences, earthquakes in diverse places. To paraphrase, you know, but the um, you know one one prophecy that is sure to come, as well as the MOTB, which is the mark of the beast, which is a physical mark that will be made mandatory at some point in time in the very near future, is a um, famine of hearing the word. Um, Amos eight and eleven. I'm going to start with this scripture first, Isaiah 20. It's going to be a quick hit, but as well, it's really fine. Just bring a bit of news out, you know, I've seen in people's voice today. Um, Isaiah 29 and 20 from the AKJV. For the terrible one is brought to naught, and the scorner is consumed. It's a terrible one, Esau, Edom. Got a lot of, lot of laughers and uh, mockers and scorners. You know, I watched a video the other day, um, Anton Daniels, some, some supposedly famous comedian in America, going against um, the, the man of the Lord, and they're in Detroit, you know, asked the question, said, uh, what are you? And he's just basically, you know, Anton Daniels comes out with some, oh, these guys are broadcast guys on the corner, whatever, man. End of the day, the man of the Lord, showing um, through the spirit of Shabash Shai. Uh, um, the people, our people, the, our transgressions, point blank period. Yeah, and if people like Anton Daniel, you know, the Daniels have received their consolation in this world. So, anyway, you know, but they're going to be brought to naught. Um, it's unconsumed, right? And the scorner is consumed, and all that watch for iniquity are cut off. You know, what's iniquity? Sin upon sin. Yeah. They make a man an offender to the point. To make a man an offender for a word and lay a snare for him, also a snare, a trap, that reprove it in the gate and turn aside the just for a thing of naught. And we read this in the KJV or NLT, verse 21, 
Isaiah 29 and 21, those who convict the innocent by their false testimony you know, will disappear. A similar fate awaits those who use trickery to pervert justice and who tell lies to destroy the innocent. You know, the, the prescribed laws, Isaiah 10 and 1, um, make mischief by a law. Um, I, um, Isaiah, sorry, Psalms 94 and 20. You know, let me just get Isaiah 10 and 1 first proof point. So I butcher. I it this way. I'm doing Isaiah. That's 10. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that write grievousness, which they prescribe, that's pre written down to say or write before. All right. And what we're seeing now is the so called elites in their various think tanks, their various groups. Um, from the UN on down to the WEF, it's World Economic Forum, um, Car, uh, Thad, Thad, Kathab, Kathab, yeah, um, to write, to record, and roll, to write, inscribe, engrave, so to, to, to put on to record, um, certain things that they consider offensive there's some of the things that they consider offensive uh oh, fuck yeah yeah uh um such things as this uh, so i'm not going to focus on this one but this is just an example Gigsaw, google's jigsaw expands efforts to combine online toxicity and invest in censorship censorship to tools all right so this is where, you know, online are going to make a man, a person offender for the word. Specifically, they want to prop, um, target the um, the prophets, you know, men, the true men of the Lord, from Apostle to Haran down, right? The ones who are following the 100% truth, the correct doctrine, doctrine of Yahweh and Yahshai. And as a dragnet, you know, others will be, um, even those Israelite groups who have signed up to the 50C13, 501C3, they, they will be, you know, they will be found um, to understand at that point to never trust thine enemy. Put it that way, okay? I'm going to read this headline. Um, sorry, let's read this um, article. Google Jig Google's Jigsaw started out as Google Ideas, and Eric Schmidt's idea back in 2010 was for it to serve as a way of researching issues, issues at the intersection of technology and geopolitics. But that was a little too open and honest. So fast forward, and Jigsaw is an alphabet Google division that has rebranded as a way for the tech juggernaut to tackle things like misinformation, toxicity, and create a safer internet. And this is what they do. Yeah, they they package it as protecting the people from um um so-called con 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 tees yeah con theorists and stuff like that yeah so if you look I remember back a few years ago when they were saying um the jibber jabbers the you know the, the beetle juice was was healthy it was peace and sit or you know was safe and effective and now look you know people are getting myocarditis people are getting um you know vades through it you know injuries through that thing that at one point they said was when people were um, pushing against it, if you know what I'm talking about, was missing disinformation you know, and hazardous. But now, what do we see? But end of the day, what they're trying to do is completely um, undermine the profits, point blank period, because they know that they're losing the information war, all right? So the UN declared war on free speech is in um, the People's Voice, you know, um, July the 4th, which is today, 2024. Um, UN declares war on free speech. People with non-mainstream views must be ostracized from society, basically like a um, George Orwell type scenario, 1984, you know, where um, they determine what is truth and what is not 
Yeah, and there will be a point where they outlaw the scriptures, outlaw the Bible. The Bible said it's going to happen in Amos 8 and 11. Lord's will all get that um, soon. Yeah, um, so like a, oh, so like a, the United Nations has ramped up its war against free speech and declared that people who consume or share non-mainstream views must be severely punished and ostracized from society. Ostracized means, let's get this word ostracized. Which means to be separate, loss, uh, is to be separated, um, to excluded, excluded from society or a group. She was declared a witch and ostracized by the villagers. Cold shoulder, reject, repudiate, boycott, blackball, blacklist, cast off, cast out, shut out, avoid, ignore, snub, keep at arm's length, leave out in the cold. And they're also going to do this. Um, um through the um MOTB, you know. So these are all signs, but I don't want to go into the MOTB. I think that was one of my last lessons. Um go into the word. Anton Gutierrez, the Secretary General of the UN, released the global last game plan for population control, surveillance and censorship reviews, the globalist um Organization views problematic. Principles for information integrity seeks to put an end to harmful misinformation, disinformation, and hate speech online, all while upholding human rights such as freedom of speech. Yeah, right. Freedom of their speech, freedom of what they want you to say, and definitely one hundred percent is they will um, come to a point that banning the Bible if not re completely rewriting the Bible as they've done in um, China. Yeah. And they will make, as they are made, and as they have made in um, certain parts of the US, um, talking points within the scriptures. Um, again, hate speech, right? I think there's a, um, there's a state in the US where Revelation 2 and 9 can't be spoken, right? You know what I mean? UN's information surveillance and control system seeks to centralize censorship for global domini domination. The UN is erecting an information surveillance and control system that crafts authoritarian narratives that limit access to life saving knowledge. These control systems not only censor, but they train people what to say, how to behave, and what to think. The UN wants to create a world of simps. <laughs> who surrender their sovereignty and bow down to manipulative and abusive entities and false authorities. I'm going to put this um, article in the description box. Let me just stick to the script. Yeah. Um, let me go to Amos 5 first. Because you got to, you know, we've got to <laughs> be circumspect. Uh, our adversary the devil. I'm going to get that next. And then you'll be with me a second. Amos 5 and 13. So there's going to be a time, you know, where the prophets from Pastor and down will cease from speaking, okay? Um, on the highways and byways, doing the sit downs. Um, doing the videos, um, so I'd behoove. They always say it behoove. Um, basically, it'd be prudent to get the word now. Yeah, yeah. Point blank period as a matter of urgency, because this is a finite time. It's not always going to be there. So Amos five and. Obviously, this was going to um, initially the, the ooh, um, there's, there's, there's priests that, that took bribes, but now we're applying it to um, the situation we're in now. Okay. Therefore, the prudent shall keep silence in that time, for it is an evil time. And this is verse 13 um, of Amos 5, 13 in the NLT. So those who are smart keep their mouths shut, for it is an evil time. 
go back to the KJV. Seek God and not evil that you may live. And so the Lord, Yahweh, the power of Yahweh shall be with you as ye have spoken. Oh. Yeah, because what, what time are we in? Um, five. No. Ooh, let me start at start at six. First Peter five and six. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of the Most High, that ye he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. This is what we got to do. I'm talking to myself before anybody else. We've got to just trust in you how about Shimmy or Shai. Because in the end, that's all we've got. Point blank period. Yeah. All right. There's going to be a time where we're going to be cast out of our homes. You know, some of us are going to be beheaded. You know, some of us are going to be on the run. You know, in different parts of the world, specifically Babylon the Great, where the great destruction is coming. That's America. You know, because of, because of the faith um, that we have in you how about Shimmy or Shai. Um, there's going to be a time of Jacob's trouble. So we've got to cast all our care upon you. How about you? I learn to do it now. Because, um, you know, in the times when, as the LDS Rambo says, and um, um, others, that, that basically all we're going to have is faith. Yeah? We're not, we're not going to be able to eat, you know, from day to day. And just, you have Bashmi I believe that you have Bashmi Yosha will provide in those days. You know? But again, coming back to this point here, you know, um, the Amos 8 and 11, you know, the family of hearing the word will come before that, you know. So, so be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, the deceiver, is a roaring lion, walk up about seeking whom he may devour. Yeah, so we've got to stay alert. We've got to watch out for what they do. Yeah, because at the end of the day, they're on the prowl because they know Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it, the follow of second edge six and nine, and they know they are losing the battle. Um, Amos 8 and 11. Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, power, Yahweh that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, Yahweh Barsham Yashai. And how do you hear it? We hear it through the prophets, from Apostle Tahar and down, the like-minded men, you know, you have the 100% truth. Um, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north, even to the east. They shall run to and fro, to seek the word of the Lord, Yahweh Barsham Yashai, and shall not find it yeah so we know this time's coming the prophecy is there in our face yeah we know the MOTB is coming which is the mark of the beast we know we're in time of wars and rumors of wars if we're watching and we're praying and we're seeing all right let me finish off with this actually Luke 21 you will know what time we're in so be vigilant with the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. And these words are written in red. These are words of Yahweh Shai. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. With that, Lord's will, this is edifying to the elect from the hopeful elect. Say Shalom, call hello, Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, Hashem Yahshai. Do this lesson, the water.